has got a little bit more touch. Paro is very quick, but has to know Beth Mooney's game that the drop and run is definitely on here. Maybe Rose. So that adjustment left to right handers. Interesting fact is obviously Rosemary Mayer's been playing for the Melbourne Renegades for, for there's a little bit of a pool of players you can keep picking from and switching teams constantly and Dylan is one of those players at the moment. I think she played the first few games for them and now she's back in the stars. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? The yeah, one I must admit, I, yeah, 2020 could bring. I was second guessing myself. Yeah. I'm like, there's not two Rosie <laughs> Mayers, is there? So, no, and a few of them might get called up late to come in either because she's been really impressive. Had a, yeah, it's really, just really coming along on the scene now in the international cricket as a, a genuine opening bowler of, you know, of, of substance and, you know, has that wicket taking ability. Good composure. One fifty is the target. It's no wicket for eight. We're halfway through the second over. Belted, and you've got a little bit more time to be able to. As Mayor bowls down. Nice little spot. I know you're staying at Cronulla as well, Robbie. Yeah. In the Sutherland Trier, so. Sort of roll a bit different in some areas, don't we? Let me look in the club rooms earlier. Bill O'Reilly in one year of grade cricket here. I don't want it to get too many more runs. Zealand against Meg Lanning's yeah. Australian team and then suddenly being a captain by her. It'd be just good insight for her to, well, probably for both teams, in fact, Meg Lanning understanding what Rosemary Mayer's trying to do for next time. Maybe they play New Zealand. And Competition. If it is always. And we see a change of bowler here. Rosemary Mayer coming back on. Obviously, Meg Lanning seeing this as a a big over, they've got over, probably home and host, the Scorchers, so just an interesting turn in this game. And it presents a really good chance for Nicole Bolton to have a, a good look here, have a bit of time. It's a good thing for the Perth team. Here at Hurstville Oval, it's Robbie McKinley and Renee Farrell. Julia Price is also with us. Really impressed looking at Meg Lanning. Haven't seen much of the Melbourne Stars live, but the communication that she had standing thing uh, it's just finding her way. Yeah, all credit to the... ...that she's played for. Uh, she's been very impressive. So, you know, I'd love to know and have a chat to her and see how... I'm sure if that's the first time that's ever happened. In yeah. ...us out there and, and having a go. A good get for the Melbourne Stars. After our wicket keepers. They're very precious. Mayor, not too much doubt about that. ...good out there. A couple of nice shots for four. Rotating the strike really well with uh, Nicole Bolton. He had already had two boundaries off that over, but again, full credit to the bowling of Rosemary Mayer. They got a caught at the crease, so good comeback. So we have gone 12 overs, and it is a three for 92. To people, 29. She's been batting very well, very sensibly early on. Just pushed around the... Yeah. Overcover is...